Alright guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Matoma and today after like a six month period of never sourcing, I'm finally going back to the bins, uh, the Goodwill bins. So let's see what I get, even though I know what I get because I'm doing this intro later, but shh, enjoy the show. Thanks for being here. I went to the bins for the first time in six months. So that's exciting. I spent 65 bucks Canadian, which is about $50 US. And I got three bags of stuff. So I guess we'll go through that real quick. Absolute insanity with the hats and what can the tiles. All right, look at this. So I organized it. And so keep in mind that everything that you see here, I paid by the weight. And this is all, I got all this for 50 bucks American. Okay, so real quick, I'll just show you some stuff close up. Um, this is a scarf, and it's from J. Crew, so that's why I picked the name brand. This one is 100% wool, made in Germany, but I can't find a name brand on it. I thought it was also a nice one. Keep in mind, I'm only paying like 20 cents for that. I picked this up because I'm paying like 20, 10, 20 cents for this. That's the right one. Pirates of the Caribbean flag. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's gonna want that. That would have been like five cents. Here's another five cents. That's Mario. Sheet. I'm sure somebody will want that for sure. And then I got a set of little bibs here, or big bibs, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know what that is. That's a snowflake. Right, so I grabbed those five because they were all together and they're very light. This is a Ray Ban case for glasses. This is just a bag, but it's a Gucci bag, so I grabbed it. And then these two scarves here were some very nice finds. 100% silk on the outside, and but they're new with tags. Echo out of New York, made in the U.S. I think, and uh, $148 new with tags for this scarf. And look, a second $148 tag, new with tags scarf. This one's nice. So soft, dude. I thought that was me. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here, I'll show you some more stuff I got. Well, this is a Starburst backpack. <laughs> Machino um, belt. No, is a nice punk rocker belt or something. That's really cool. I really like that. Somebody's gonna like that, I'm sure. Got a little Mickey Mouse here and a bag there. Pair of glasses there. Got this um, horse hair. Yeah, horse hair brush. So that's sweet. Got the Land Before Time on VHS. This is back in 1994. I don't know if it's worth any money, but we got a couple tie dye bears. Elephant one here. And this is an old. I don't know what this is exactly, but. How old it is. Jelly Cat London. I don't see the year. Hmm. 1995, I think. Anyways, I don't even know who that is. Um, I got this really nice The North Face jacket here. It's a size small men's, which is what? Like, I paid like a dollar for that. And there's no flaws on there. This is a guess, I don't know what you call it, handbag or something. Doesn't even have the flap though, as you can see there's a thing, but there's no. What? Maybe 10 bucks or something, maybe 15, I don't know. 
There's another bag. This is American Eagle, so nothing special, but I would have paid less than 50 cents maybe. As a Foot Joy golf shirt there. It has Titleist on the uh, sleeve. Just a little Disney. <laughs> New with tags. It's probably not worth too much, but cute. I thought these were some cool shoes right here. These are Nike. These are LeBron James edition of some sort. Let's see where it did that. Definitely need some cleaning up there. Yeah, you can see LeBron there. And on the other shoe. You got James right there. Definitely an interesting pair of shoes here. Air Max. Definitely doing okay down there. So, Nike Zoom. Size 11. I thought those were really cool. And the only other pair I got is these uh, Fred Perry's. Fred Perry's a good brand. They're okay. And then I got two fanny packs. This is, I'm pretty sure this is real, real leather. I don't know. I don't know what brand that one is. Nor this one, but I'll definitely always pick up fanny packs at the Goodwill bins. So those would be like 10 cents each. Or 5 cents for that one. And this is just a Lululemon bag, but again, it's missing whatever it's supposed to go to. <laughs> so... But even if I get like, I don't know, maybe somebody will pay like eight bucks for that or something. I would have paid eight cents for that. This is a Nike. And it's actually reversible. I, I, I can show you with the, uh, so the zipper is reversible and that's because you can actually flip it and there's, let's see here, here. So that's on the inside, but that'll be on the outside if you reverse it. This is a nice Burton hoodie here. Looks really comfortable. Um, yeah. That was probably about a dollar. So that's sweet. Uh, this is an Affliction t-shirt. Affliction's a good company to pick up if you can get it cheap. Okay, continuing on. Just cleaned up a bit. So we just looked through all that. Um, so moving on. This I forgot to show you guys. I don't know what company that is or anything. But it's just a nice little messenger bag or whatever you call it. And it feels really quality in there. Really soft. So I grabbed that. And then this, this is just Joe Fresh. So I'm pretty sure that's Walmart, I think it is. But the reason I grabbed this is because the new tag is 60 bucks. So even if I can get $20 for this, I only paid 80 cents. So there's nothing wrong with it. And it's really soft too. I'll even aim for 30, but even if I get 20, that's awesome. Okay, gonna try to bang through these quicker. So it's just, just a small, like baby sized Adidas jacket or whatever. This here is actually quite decent. It's a nice fox coat. It's, I mean, the way it's wearing, unfortunately, but I thought that was a really nice coat. As you can see, it says fox. Oh, you can't. This one's really nice. Unfortunately, this is no good. Maybe I'll, I don't know what I'll do here. I'll try and clean it first, but FXR is definitely a very, very good brand. And especially if it's camel like this. Like this was probably $280 new. Like, Okay, scratch that. Maybe it was closer to $380. It's not the exact one, but they range anywhere from like $200 to like $600 or something. But this one looks very similar to it. And it's $375 bucks new. So I got this for like a dollar. Maybe a dollar fifty. And uh, so yeah, I definitely don't mind grabbing it with that there it's nice on the sleeves you even got a nice that's awesome this is sweet like i'd even keep this myself beautiful hood so real trees many of you know about real tree detachable hood let me know if you guys would leave this behind or if you would have picked it up because of that but for a dollar fifty so like a dollar us actually I could not leave that behind. And then another nice jacket here. So look at that. Embroidered Snap-on. Now this is not straight from Snap-on, I'm pretty sure, so. But that's fine. That is fine. So as you can see, Surge by Choco. Nice extra large jacket there. Look at that. 
And then look, another FXR. So, and this is a hoodie. Great brand, great brand. Very expensive. So if you ever see a FXR, make sure to pick it up. They make nice winter stuff, especially. Continuing on, I have two McDonald's uniforms. And they're in great condition, good sizes, and I just figured why not. Um, people actually do buy uniforms online, so definitely, definitely don't leave those behind for like 20 cents. This is just an Under Armour for kids uh, hoodie, so nothing too special there. Probably 15 bucks at max, at max for sure. Well, we'll see. This is a 5XL Adidas polo shirt, so and those, that's a really nice one too, whatever you call that one. This is a um, Lululemon scuba hoodie, but only thing is, is the arms. I mean the uh, sleeves here. However, I've sold quite a few scuba hoodies that have issues like this. So like they can fix it. They, they, yeah, they probably fix it. So, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> it's in good condition overall, except for the sleeves. And so that should bring in like 30 bucks. Next up, we have two pink, uh, Victoria's Secret pink. This is a nice one. As you can see, it's pop popping out. Um, that is a hoodie and this is a sweater. This here's newer tags. What do we have? 55 bucks at first and then 33. And then it made its way to the bins. These are Under Armour. So those are nice. Alright, this is the Fedora? Is that what you call it? What did they want? They wanted 15 for this at the thrift store. I paid 5 cents. This is a Balaclava, you call it? From Heli Hansen. So that would probably be about 30 bucks for that. So that's cool. And yeah, and this is just a, I don't know how you say that brand still, W-E-Z-C, Wesk, I don't know, but it has the JL logo, that's a good one, if you see that logo anywhere, make sure you pick it up if you get it for nice and cheap, like a dollar, or two or three, um, and this is a nice, the North Face fleece, what did they want, they wanted 22 at the thrift, they got it for, this is extremely light, not even kidding you, 30 cents. And then I'm not going to go through all the ties I got, but I got an absolute megaton of ties. And these go for about, they go for no less than $6 a piece. They go on average 10, 10 to 12 bucks a piece. And some go for 20, 30, 40. I even made 50 bucks off of one, a Burberry. And I actually got another Burberry in this pile. I'll pull this one out. And two Ted, uh, Ted Bakers. So I'll put those three up for you guys. Okay, I just went through them and I found all three of them. So there's one of the Ted Bakers there. And there's the Burberry there. And there's the other Ted Baker. So if you see those brands, make sure to pick those up for sure for ties. Here's a nice Disney one that I found. If you can see Mickey Mouse. Walt Disney World. That's cool. These two are kind of nice. That's a Kenneth Cole reaction. And this one tag's broken here, but it, you can see it's here, Banana Republic. And so this pile here, I'm gonna be giving to the homeless shelters here in Edmonton. So keep some people warm. And then there's some I'm gonna keep for myself and uh, resell those as well. And then as far as hats go, I'll just quickly scroll through them here fast. Do you see? We got a redhead. This is nice for the winter. It's soft, it's not a hard one. Uh, I don't know what that is. FXR again. Cat. Trans Canada. Sweet thing. Just a blank. Superman. Stars. Mamelet. Oilers, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, or whatever, Giants. <laughs> There's another workwear. Next, a little Roots hat. That's Pro Shops. Another Oilers hat, okay, Marvel hat, Spider, Spider-Man, Titleist, 
Adidas, Sonic, Cabela's, I'm not sure. Um, um, no, what is, how do you say that? What is it? Uno or something? No, I can't remember. Is this is the Cubs. This is Beauty with a Rose. Okay. That's fake leather. PG. This is uh, the beer. Star. Puma. Title is for joy. So that goes with the shirt. And then there's three. Three of these. Uh, one's just blank. Uh, this one has a W on it. And this one is Lopez. Is that Jennifer Lopez? Where is it? There you go. Lopez. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like there's one more row, so just uh, one of those hats. I don't know. Alright, we got Minnie Mouse. We got a Hugo Boss hat. We got a stinking Canada Post hat. <laughs> uh, Angry Birds. Come on, you. That team. Grant, Komatsu again, is a nice one, Komatsu, Adidas, Callaway Golf, I don't know what team, I don't know what team, Cougars, <laughs> not sure what that is, Gone Fishing, be back at Dark 30, <laughs> that's cool, Dark 30, alright, Under Armour, another one of those, 3M, Come on, two again. Tap out. Oilers. The Home Depot. Alright, and the last one. Budweiser. Brewed in Canada. That was the entire haul, guys. Actually, I found this too, but I think this is fake. Like, one second here. Alright, so yeah. I, I found this. This uh, scarf here. This silk. Yves Saint Laurent. Scarf. But, uh, I have no idea if it's real. Like, it probably isn't. But still kind of a cool find. It might be real. Just the stitching it's, is what making me think that it's not real. If you guys know, that'd be cool. I mean, I'll do research before I even... But the stitching just does not look quality, as you can see. But yeah, that would be cool if it was new. Somebody did find a Fendi, and I don't know if it was real either. But it was like a purse. We both grabbed it at the same time, but then I let her have it, and uh, yeah, if that ended up being real, that's a that's like a grand in her pocket. But anyways, guys, that was the entire haul. Thanks for sticking around and watching. If you did, um, now it's time to clean up. <laughs> All right, I just got done counting my ties, and it turns out I grabbed seventy-eight ties. Seventy-eight ties. And there's everything already. Packed up, and there's still more there. My goodness. So I just got I got done counting everything here, and there's 148 things here, not including the 78 ties. Okay, so let's just say that uh, 148 plus the 78 ties, so it's 226 items. And then say, let's just say that each item sold for 10 bucks. That would be 2200 US dollars on a $50 investment. Um, so that's pretty wild um, and what would uh, so 226 items here one second so yeah if, if I do it in uh, USD it would be 50 bucks that I spent on the 65 pounds of stuff and then if you divide that by the 226 items that I, I picked out that equates to 22 cents average cost of uh, so 22 cents guys that's pretty low um, and you can thank obviously the ties and the hats for that the most but clearly the ties because those probably cost they probably literally cost like three cents a piece I've never exactly got the weight but then tie I mean hats are probably closer to 10 cents and some of them even five cents like they get light but uh, yeah 22 cents 
average cost of goods is pretty dang good. Um, obviously, keep into consideration some of them, like the coats would be closer to a dollar fifty. I don't think I, need, I grabbed anything that's worth two bucks or more today. The fact of the matter is, most of my stuff isn't going to be selling for ten dollars. Um, it'll probably be closer to about twenty dollars average uh, sale price for what I got here, because some will go for much more, and then the lowest should probably be ten bucks. I mean, some ties will probably go for six bucks, or they'll get bundled and. They'll get a good deal that way, but other than that, so I'm, I'm assuming about $20 average. So if you do the 226, even though it's actually 238 because I'm giving away 12 toques, I think it was. So, and I didn't equate that into this at first. So it's actually 238 items in total for 50 bucks US, which is insanity. That's complete insanity. Um, but if you equate, if you do that times 20, it would be about $4,500 US. So I took 50 bucks, I sourced all day well actually not even it was i stayed there much like less I, I was expecting to spend my whole day there but i think i was only there for about five hours total and very pleased with what i got so yeah turning 50 bucks into 4500 dollars before fees but it's pretty it's pretty awesome so but i'll try and keep you guys in in the loop as to what things sell and uh yeah we'll see what happens so if you took the time to watch this haul um Please leave a comment below so that I know that you watched and uh, I would love to hear from you guys. Like, I would like to know your opinion on what I what I source. Hats and ties especially. Um, and some, some, what do you call them, stuffed animals or whatever. And then other little things. And I'm trying to stir, stray away from clothing, but I ended up getting more clothing this time around. Um, but hey, anyway, I don't know what else to say. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring and I don't know. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and had a good time watching and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>